everybody. I'm here today to talk to you about a Philips one blade that is not working. I'll be going over how to fix it easily in this very simple tutorial. Let's get right into the video. I'll be outlining five things that you can try out to hopefully fix your Philips one blade trimmer and shaver that is not working properly or not working at all. Let's get right into this video. Number one, is it charged? Okay. You need to think, is it charged? Okay. Now, essentially, it might not be charged. I know it sounds silly, but thinking to yourself, is it charged? Will allow you to realize whether or not it's actually charged. What you can do if you're unsure if it's actually charged is get your charging cable and just plug it in for like five to 10 minutes. And that five to 10 minutes of charging should give you more than enough juice to actually go ahead and use the unit for more than a few minutes. So plug it in for five to 10 minutes, because even if you think that it's charged, it might not actually be charged. Maybe you left it for a long time and the battery has died. So plug it in and see if that helps uh, by charging it just a little bit. You just need a little bit of juice to see if it's actually working and if the charging was the problem. Number two, is it plugged in when you're trying to use it? Now it has a built-in safety feature where it won't turn on when it's plugged in. So essentially if I have this plugged in like this and plugged into a wall outlet and I try to turn it on, it's not going to turn on. And I might think that it's a problem with the unit, but in reality, it's just a safety feature. So what do you need to do? Unplug it. Once it's unplugged, try to turn it on and see if it works then. If that's the case, then it's just the safety feature that you're experiencing. Number three, try a different power source for charging. I know it sounds silly. You're plugging it in and it's charging. And maybe even you see the light. Maybe you even see the light to prove that it's charging. But in reality, there might be an issue with the power source. Maybe it's just not giving it the right amount of juice. So literally unplug it from the wall okay unplug the charging part from the wall this part right here from your wall outlet go to a different wall outlet on a completely different circuit breaker maybe even in a different room or even in a different building if you have access to that and plug it in for even five to ten minutes and see if that makes a difference um sometimes it's just the power source that's the issue so try it out i know it seems unrealistic and it's a slim chance but it's worth looking into your best bet is actually number two what i already said which was um it's plugged in and you're trying to turn it on but it's the built-in safety feature so that's most likely what's going to be the cause and anyways we went through number three which was try a different power source that brings us to number four which is to rinse the blade if it's clogged and even if it's not clogged rinse the blade Sometimes you have some heavy duty oils in your face and your chest and your armpits or your arms, wherever it is that you're shaving or trimming, and those oils end up clogging up the blade, okay? And if those oils clog up the blade, guess what? You can turn it on and it's not gonna work or it's not gonna work properly. Like it might work, but maybe it's not trimming, okay? So essentially what you wanna do, whoa, this is a really cool car. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this in the mirror, but no, it, you can't see it. It's a Dodge, you know what? I don't, I think it's the Charger. I always get mixed up with the Charger and the Challenger. I, I love them both that's the challenger sorry the challenger is the one with that long back um it just it looks awesome it was yellow it had the black stripes it looked phenomenal anyways where was i number four rinse the blades because those oils from your face might have clogged up the blades what you can do also if you have a spare blade is just remove this old one and put on a new blade or put on a spare blade and that might solve the problem as well and what you can do is just blow into the head of the unit when it's powered off that's what I do every single time that I use it to shave or trim and then you can also rinse the head of the unit while it's turned off under lukewarm water that will remove all of the hair dirt debris oils blah 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 rinse it under lukewarm water for like a minute and it should be perfectly clean and if it turns on again then you know that was the problem before okay hopefully you learn to clean it more often if that's the case last but not least is number five which is the travel lock might be activated so on some of these units not on this one as far as i know but on some of these units there's actually a travel lock that gets activated where you can prevent it from being turned on by just you know clicking and clicking it turning it on by clicking it turning it off by clicking it so if you're trying to turn it on by clicking it on or off and it's not working maybe your travel lock is activated if the travel lock is activated the easiest way that you can actually deactivate it is to press and hold down on uh, the power button for about three seconds. If you press and hold down on the power button for three seconds, it will, uh, three to four seconds, even five seconds, just to be sure, it will deactivate the travel lock and hopefully you can turn your unit on again and it will work once again. And that's it. If your Philips One Blade is not working, those are some easy fixes in a simple tutorial. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe. Sorry, I'm trying to rush this outro because there's a sharpening truck over here. I got to point this out. I'm going on a lot of tangents on this video 
video, but I'm gonna point this out because I love these trucks. So there's a sharpening truck passing right now and it's dinging its dinger, right? And I thought I was gonna be distracted, but it's really, really cool. I wanna point this out. I'm gonna try and turn my camera so you can see it as it passes because essentially these sharpening trucks are absolutely amazing. They are the coolest things that I've seen in years. I love them so much because as a kid, my dad would always wait for the sharpening truck. There it is right there. He would always wait for the sharpening truck to pass by and we would get our stuff sharpened. I just want to hear for one second. Yeah, that is a loud bell. So essentially we would wait for the sharpening truck to pass by and we would get our stuff sharpened. And it was such a cool experience for me that whenever I see them, I actually think uh, an alarm is going off. So I'm going to move out of here while I finish this video. Whenever I see the sharpening trucks, I get so excited because it just brings back childhood memories. And fun fact, my friend's dad actually just bought a sharpening truck, believe it or not. It was a person that had retired from the sharpening business and they were selling their truck. So my friend's dad bought it and he's going to like uh, soup it up and stuff. Anyways, I don't even know what I said towards the end there, but it's all good. Um, I know it went off on a tangent. I just wanted to get out of that chaos zone. But essentially the Phillips one blade, if it's not working um, or not working properly, those are the five ways to fix it, like I said earlier. And hey, props to sharpening trucks. I'll tell you what, if you have a sharpening truck and you want, and you live in Toronto, cause that's where I live, or Etobicoke, anywhere in the GTA, anywhere within even an hour drive, and you want me to make a video about your sharpening truck, I would love to. I would love to come in the truck and make a video about it and just show everybody how it works. So just reach out to me on social media. Send me a message, comment below, reach out to me on Instagram or anywhere else that I am on social media and let's make it happen. Because honestly, that sounds like a good idea. And if you want to see that content, comment below because it'll boost the video and then more people will get to see it and maybe we'll get a sharpening truck tutorial or walkthrough. But that is truly it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.